Today we're going to paint a bird's nest. To me, a bird's nest is a true spring feeling that we can get by using our pastels. These are the colors that we're going to use. I don't think I really need to name them off. You can pretty well see there's a brown and a black, there's oranges, there's two different kinds of blue, a white and green and a dark purple. Okay, we have regular copy paper, and this can be a diff more difficult pastel, but if you follow these rules, you should be able to uh, achieve a likeness of a nest. Now we have blue eggs in our nest. You can put white, you can put little brown eggs, you can make your eggs whatever color. These are just a suggestion from Nana. Okay, first we're going to start by drawing off the, the nest itself. This is a dark brown. Now, nests are not round in, in a circle. They're more like a football. Like this. Then we're going to improve on it and make it a little bit bigger. But we're going to make the nest bigger. See, I'm kind of doing like dotted lines. Bigger from the bottom because we're looking into the nest actually from the side. Okay? A little bit here. And we pretty well have our nest. It looks like a bowl. All right, here we are with our dilemma that we always have. This nest is out here in the middle of this big white sheet of paper. Let's put it on a limb. And you can draw your limb whichever way you want. I like a nice crooked limb. It's going to be coming from this side. And the nest is going to be sitting on it, okay? Got to anchor it well because the wind can blow and knock it right off. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do, let's get our eggs in here. Let's take our light blue, and we're going to put one egg headed that way. And then we're going to put another egg slightly behind it. And then another egg kind of peeping out underneath here, like this. I like three eggs. You can put four or five, you know, you can have a really productive mama, and she could have six eggs. That's up to you. Okay, now we're going to start weaving our nest. And this is how we weave our nests with colors. Let's start with a purple, dark purple, because we've got to put in our darks first. And actually, look, weave. Weave those colors in there. Weave them around. Come outside the football shape, and let's weave it. See, kind of zigzag S's, okay? Now, while we've got the purple in our hand, let's make some dark up underneath this limb because the light's coming from this way, okay? Let's make sure we have the right light, okay? Now, next, let's try a lighter kind of a tannish copper color. And let's do our weaving again. We can make it a little bit bigger on to the side. And actually, you know, birds are not the most neat weavers sometimes. We can just make it a little messy. Okay, let's put in a little dash of red. You know they could have picked up some red yarn or a ribbon that fell out of somebody's hair or something or a piece of paper. All right, let's see. Let's get some orange in there.
Now, now that we've got the orange, let's bring in, let's turn your orange kind of on its side. Let's bring in this circle of the nest and make it nice and comfortable in there. Pick up your brown, turn it on the side too. And let's weave around in there. And our blackest black, we're going to go carefully around the eggs, put them safely deep down in the nest. Okay, now make it still like a football shape as much as you can. All right. Now all you have left to do is take your yellows, and here we go weaving again, weave some colors around, right over the reds and the purples, and all in the edge of the nest is a little bit darker. Little, just a little bit darker. You might like to put some twiggy shapes out this way and out this way. What about that? We're still weaving. This is really exactly what we're doing with your pastels is that we are weaving a bird's nest with our pastels. Okay, now those eggs are just too white. Just don't like that. So we're going to take the edge of your dark blue, lights coming from this way from the left, and we're going to go at the bottom of each egg and put in the dark blue halfway up. Now this one is kind of lying on its side, so you go up under it like this. And this poor little one is just almost covered up, but he's got a little bit of light. Okay, then get a clean finger and just barely, barely smudge it in a bit. Now, let's go ahead and make the light on this brighter. Okay. Make it bright. Now, these are robin's eggs. I'm not a very good bird watcher, and I should know this, but I think you could probably put a speckle or two on here. Let's go back in. Let's weave a little bit more. I'm going to put some black on one. Okay, now this, since it's barely springtime, we need to put some leaves on this tree. Okay, I'm going to smudge my limb in just a little bit. And let's put the suggestion of a tiny leaf down here. Maybe one up here. What do you think? Over here, you just decide how many leaves you want. But so make sure we've got some shadow underneath here so we can show that this nest is firmly on this tree and will not be blown away. Okay? Now, since this is an impression of a bird's nest, I like to kind of, you know, make an impression of the sky or just take some of the bird's nests and just smooth it about a little bit. You can make your sky as big as you want. You may want to have a sunset behind yours or underneath you could put green grass. That's totally up to you. Totally up to you. But as far as I'm concerned, 
I think our bird nest is finished. And we have a lovely, lovely springtime bird's nest. And as I always say, you are an artist. <laughs>